Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Stop Talk with David. I'm David. In this video, we're continuing our option series. We're going to be talking about what is a call option, what is a put option, how do they relate to each other. These are the fundamental things that you need to know in order to do options successfully. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm just looking at the Investopedia definition here. Um, options or financial derivatives are just financial products that get their value from an underlying stock that can give the buyer the right but not the obligation to buy or sell an underlying asset or that stock at that price at a certain date. So that kind of makes sense, very, very broad. The easiest way I can explain it is that this is actually just a deposit that you put on. Uh, you pay a little, little price for this deposit to buy 100 shares of a certain stock at a certain price at a certain date. So even if you, let's say you said, I want to buy this stock by Christmas for $50 and it goes to $100 before Christmas, you can just say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and take my, my 100 shares at $50 and the stock can still trade at 100 but you will actually have bought those those stocks, those shares, for $100, or sorry, for $50. So how cool is that? It's trading at 100 because you were smart, you bought the option, you got your skin in the game for 50. Pretty cool, right? So let's look at what this actually looks like. I'm gonna use what's called a payoff diagram. I'm using my paper money account, uh, so full disclosure there. I'm just gonna show you what it would look like. So let's say we go to Apple, let's say we buy a call option, uh, slightly in the money here, talked about that last time. So slightly in the money, and let's look at it. See if I can make this the easiest explanation for you guys. So let's see here, this, let's look at this blue line. The, per, the pink line doesn't mean too much. The blue line is what's gonna happen at expiration or that day that we're buying the option. So we actually picked up this option on for May 20th. The strike price is 160. It's a call option and we paid $12 and 30 cents or actually $1,230 because you take this times 100 and that gives you what you paid for it. So let's see, once we get past our break even, so our break even is gonna be our strike price plus the cost of our option. And it's gonna give us a break even at 172 and 30 cents, pretty close to that. So we can see that as this stock increases in value, we go from $170, $180 to $190 to Apple trading at $200 a share. And we come up here, we can see that we would have made $29,000 because we have 10 options, right? We have 10 call contracts for this, and we would have made about $30,000. Does that make sense? See how it's just this one straight line, and it just follows what's going to be the underlying stock price. But you say, well, what happens if I do it the other way? What if I, what if it doesn't go up to that price? Well, then all that you would lose, your max loss, would actually just be what you paid for the option, right? So you see how after it hits a certain point, you just lost it, right? So it actually works out because instead of having to spend all that money on 100 shares or 10,000 shares or 1,000 shares, you can just put a small amount down and you have minimal risk. You have a ton of upside. The other thing is a trade-off though. What's the trade-off? Well, the trade-off is that you could actually uh, run out of time before the option is actually worth something. So let's say that this is on May, but let's say it doesn't even hit one 180 until July. Well, you would have been out of the game, right? You would have been really early to have been out of the game. So it's important to understand we have to buy enough time, right? Because we have all these months, right? we have all these expiration months right here that we can choose from. As we get further away from today's date, the more that the options become, right? So this one is one, sorry, it's 20, almost $22 for a, a contract, whereas in May we were paying 12.30. So you can just see that the, the time increases, right? So that's a call contract, that's a call option. Let's look at the put options. So we can use the same date, it's fine. We'll go over here to the 160 puts. Now the puts allow you to sell X amount of shares at a certain price. So let's say if you actually wanted to short something, you wanted to short this stock, you wanted to short Apple, well then what you would do is you would buy your put and now if Apple goes down in value, you make money. So you hit $120, there's your 30 grand, right? Does that make sense? You see it right here, 130, $120, that's our $30,000 profit right there. So that makes a lot of sense. Now what's the downside? The same thing with the calls. 
Okay, you see this is flat line. You can't lose any more than that $9.05 that you put on, right? Okay, so at this point, let's say that you wanted to exercise, you wanted to use your right on that option. Well, you would just sell 100 shares at 160 and you would keep all the profits, right? You'd now be short X amount of stocks, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I think it's a pretty clear description. If any questions, comments, definitely let me know in the comment in the section below. Be happy to answer them. Our next video is going to be on a couple different strategies that you can use for options. So thanks a lot, guys.